Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about building a robot. Uh, that robot will automatically play an internet game or the uh, website game on behalf of us. We don't need to really need to do anything. The robot will automatically play for us and it will uh, cross out all the stages. So uh, we would be utilizing Python uh, and uh, using some AI and machine learning techniques. So let's get started. So go to the Google, type your uh, python.org, simply open to the sorry, simply open the download page directly and click on download python. So once you click on the download python, it would be downloaded in your download folder and double click on that exe downloaded exe and just click on I agree next 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 and it will install it on your system so once you're done downloading and setting up or installing Python the second thing that I already said that uh, Python is really good uh, in using the DLL so uh, basically to play a, that internet game uh, we would be processing image and some calculations and pressing some mouse buttons and everything so let's go one by one so to process the image, we would need a DLL or a library that is called as uh, a Pillow, P-I-L, P-I-L library. Those would be processing the images. So once you are done installing your Python, you can certainly go to the start, type CMD, and in the command prompt, you can click right click on the command prompt and run it, administrator. And it will ask you to yes and no do you want to allow this uh, app to make changes on your device just certainly click on yes so once you click on yes you will see your command prompt and in the command prompt to download the uh, image processing uh, dll or library you need to simply type pip pip is the library that is used to install the uh, uh, Python's libraries. So just simply type pip install pillow and hit enter. So once you will hit enter, you will see this connecting pillow, downloading, and the download complete and installation complete. So once you are done the uh, pillow installing pillow library that is used for processing the images the second library that we need is to process some calculations so to process the calculation we would need another library that is called as numpy so to get the numpy library you can certainly go to your command prompt again type pip space install numpy and hit enter again it will show the same thing connecting numpy downloading and installing successfully once you are done uh, installing the numpy that we're going to use for the calculation to process some calculations the another library that we're going to use is uh, ppwin32 so that's the library would be used for processing some mouse clicks so say for example we're going to click somewhere on a button or any of the uh, anywhere on the particular image so we would need another third library which is py py pi win32 so just type pip install win32 so once you are done installing all three libraries so we are good to start with the coding part now so let's minimize it so you can certainly right click anywhere or you can create any folder that's specifically for your tutorial like uh, python bot and right click and create a new text file and in the text file you can um, just rename it like bot dot py py stands for python and delete the t dot txt if you cannot see the dot txt then you can simply and um, uh, if you cannot see the file extension then you can simply go to the view and click on the 
show file extension file name extension or if you are using windows 7 then you can certainly press uh, alt t from your keyboard and go to the folder go to the folder view and click on the show file extensions so then once you click on or activate it it will show the file extension and once you change it to the uh, from .txt to .py file it will ask you if you change a file name extension the file might become unusual are you sure you want to change it just press yes so once you press yes it will show you as a python file so now right click on it go to the edit and go to IDLE IDLE is something that is called as uh, integrated development uh, environment so this is the one uh, that the in, uh, environment created when we install the Python on our system so now you can click on edit and just hold on for a moment okay here we have the file so now I'll just explain a uh, couple of basic things uh, that uh, really different make a difference uh, between the another technical uh, language and the Python. So I'm basically from uh, .NET background. So I'll just show you the comparison or tell you the or explain you the uh, basic comparison or basic difference between the Python and uh, any other technical language. So in Python, when you define a function, then you need to just use diff. And the function name name of the function and anything else would everything else would remain same and in the Python tab and uh, the space really matters unlikely in dotnet you can have any type of space and as far as you have like a, a start function and end function so in between the code you can have any type of space it doesn't matter but in python a particular tab and space really matters and it defines where the code belongs to so if you are defining your function function would always be start with def and the function name and type uh, like if condition or any type of code so it should be having one tab if there is no tab it means it this uh, line of code doesn't belongs to that function and another example or another big difference is you do not need to explicitly define the data type when you are defining the variable you do not really need to explicitly define what data type is it in python when you declare any variable that would be considered as an object type it's just that when you assign a value that uh, to that variable it would be converted on that particular data type so say for example I'm gonna uh, define or use a variable first thing I don't need to really uh, define what type of variable is it uh, in uh, vb.net we usually use uh, dim so we don't need to use anything just type the variable name and equal what kind of value will goes uh, in that particular variable so that's the string variable so basically we have created one variable that is string variable so in python this variable is an string of the string type uh, object so basically all the variable in python are object and those object would be converted based on the what type of value we are inserting on those variable so right now we are inserting the string uh, values then this would be a string type object and at the same time if you are just uh, using the same variable again and uh, inserting like uh, a number then it would be again an object but integer data type similarly uh, and you really not need to define uh, a kind of variable you just need to use it and no need to worry about what data type is it and another one the other the another data type that we're going to use is like uh, list so to define a list in in the python you just need to use this that's it that would define it the data as a list and if you want to use a tuple then again you can create the same thing but instead of using this uh, bracket you can just change it to okay so the difference between the tuple and the list variable is basically tuple values cannot be changed 
and in a list data type you can change the values so this is the basic difference between a list and a tuple and the another variable that we're going to use is uh, our dictionary key pair value dictionary type data type uh, variable so dictionary would be a uh, dictionary list would be like uh, this this would be considered as a dictionary value so here we're going to use uh, key then uh, the value so these are the data type and the different type of variable that we're going to use the next thing is like if condition and for loop and the do loop are uh, usually simple and similar to the any other technical language and another thing that we do not need to explicitly define that uh, the line is getting end so say for example if you're writing the code in uh, c sharp and uh, c plus plus or c we explicitly explicitly mention that this line is getting end and we need to use the semicolon but in python we really don't need to use the selling semicolon and the next difference is um, you can write the function in the same function so like nested functions so this is the really uh, basic difference between python and any other technical language and in the next tutorial we will start coding we will actually start coding so thanks for watching this tutorial